dots. You may or may not have seen this before. If it is completely new, no worries. You will learn it pretty quickly. A box and whisker plot can give you a lot of information in one quick look, okay, in a quick look, and that's what we're looking for. Now, what can you find? This right here is a box and whisker plot, okay? You have lower extreme. This is your minimum. You have an upper extreme. That's your maximum. And then you have three medians. You have median in the middle. That's the one that we learned how to find when doing me me measures of central tendency. You have an upper quartile, which is essentially the median up of, of the upper half, okay? Median of upper half. And then the lower quartile, which is the median of the bottom half. So, when you're doing box and whisker, you can easily see the median. That's the middle number there. You can find the highest number and the lowest number, which can give you the range, the highest and the lowest. You can tell easily where 50% of the scores fall. Okay, when you split this up, it's split into the quartiles. So there's 25% there, 25% in that part of the box, 25% in the other half of the box, and 25% above the box, which means in your box, you have... 50% of your data, okay? And then you can easily see where the top 25% or the bottom 25% of the scores fall. I said scores, the example I had been looking at was grades, okay? So there you go. Now, down below, the mean minimum number is the lower extreme. In the example, it is about, so right about there, it is about, I don't know, 17? Okay. The maximum number is the upper extreme. So up here, the upper extreme, that's 100. The median is the bar in the middle of the box. So right about here, let's call that about 68. The lower quartile is the median of the bottom half. And the upper quartile is the median of the top half, which means that 50% of your data fall in the box. In this example, 50% of the data fall in between... There should be a line there, so let's finish that. In between, let's call that 51 and 92. Okay, and the top 25% of your data fall above the box, bottom 25% of the data fall below the box. So in the example, the 20, top 25% fall between, let's call that about 87 and 100 and the bottom 25% fall between 17 and this is about 51. Okay, in doing that, I just realized this 92 was wrong. That's 51 um, and this right here, that's 87, not 92, 87. And there you go, that is how you read a box and whisker plot. Okay, so let's talk about how we make one. So, to construct, the first thing you want to do is you order your data. Make sure you go from smallest to largest. Find your five numbers. The maximum is the highest, the minimum is the lowest, the median is the middle. Once you find the middle, you take the bottom half. So let me show you an example. Say, say that's our data, okay? So, our lowest is our minimum, so our minimum is 1. Our max is 9. Okay. Now if we find the median, we then have 5 is our median. So our median is 5. So if you're going to do this on your number line, you have to start at 1, end at 9. Median is 5. So let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, let me finish up here first and then we'll do step three all together. So, our lower quartile. Right here was your minimum and there's your median. So, if you just look at that data, where's the middle one? Well, there's one and five. 2 and 4, 3 and 4 would be in between 3 and 4. So that would be 3 and a half. Okay. 
Okay, so three and a half would be your lower quartile. And then the upper quartile from five to nine, five and nine, six, eight, if in between seven and seven, so seven is your upper quartile. Okay, so now looking at your chart, draw your number line, we did that. Place lines at the three medians, so a line at five, three and a half, and seven. Connect them with a box. Place points at the upper and lower extremes, so one and nine, and draw your whiskers. And that is how you draw your box and whisker plot. Okay? So just realize when you cut yourself, cut your dad in the middle with a median, bottom half, find the median there, top half, find the median there. Okay? And that is it for box and whisker plots. So let's do one more example here. Okay? This one, let's see, we have to order the data. So when we order our data, we have 41, that's our lowest. Next is 71. It's two of those. Then we have two 72s. Then we have a 74, a 75, 82, and two 83s. Okay, so there's our data. So find the median. Let's see, there's five. So right there is our middle. So 73 is our median. Upper quartile. So if you look at this half, 82 is our median there. And then if you look at the bottom half, 71 is in the middle there. So that's the lower quartile. The maximum, your top number is 83. Your minimum, your bottom number is 41. So, to draw a box and whisker plot, draw your line. Start at, let's take this from 40 to 90. Okay, so let's see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. My lines are not quite even. That's okay. All right, so our 73 was our median. So 73, about right there. 82 is our top upper quartile 71 is our bottom quartile so right there is our box we have a whisker at 83 so that's a very short whisker and a whisker at 41 so that's down there so very lopsided but there's our box and our whisker chart Okay, um, now, of course, you're asking, you're thinking to yourself, why would I ever need to do this? Box and whisker charts are actually used, okay? Um, it's used to tell data very quickly to plot these and look at the median and then to, to have that for a bunch of data. It actually is used. And Miss Anderson, if you know her, she's the Dean of Math and Science here at Windham, she used to use these every day when she was an engineer at AT&T. Okay, this is how they read their data. So very easily you can um, use box and whisker charts in many different fields. All right, so following this, you have some U-try problems, couple of multiple choice, and then one where you actually have to draw out your box and whisker. Okay, so there you go. That is box and whisker plots.